In the African plains, a very stealthy beast is lurking. It's on the hunt to take your picture. Beetle Cam is a small remote control buggy which I mounted my camera on top of and I used it to get close up wide angle photographs of African wildlife. These animals are uh, pretty dangerous, pretty powerful. So if you even got out of the vehicle, you'd probably get mauled, trampled, or some other form of nasty death. So, <laughs> so I preferred to send my camera out um, and me not be actually holding it at the time. Will Bird Lucas has traveled to the ends of the earth looking for that perfect shot. But it was here in his small workshop back in 2009 that his most innovative photo expedition began. So this is Beetle Cam Mark I, and it's basically a small remote control buggy with four wheels, powered by four motors, and with two big batteries. And what I do is I clip a DSLR camera on top, like this, and then I've got a remote control here, which is used usually for model aeroplanes. And I use this to steer the buggy and to fire the camera. The initial Beetle Cam I built a couple of years ago, and I had no idea whether it would work or not. I sort of just built it and took it to Tanzania, and I used it first on elephants. And it actually worked pretty well and got some very promising results. Elephants were quite cautious, but if I left it still, they'd sometimes be curious and come right up to it. Will was getting closer to his photographic prey than ever before, but one animal was still out of reach. What happened next was quite predictable. The lions came straight up and destroyed one of my cameras. Back in London, Will goes to work on a new and improved Beetle Cam 2.0. A custom made mount lets him tilt the camera up and down remotely. And a live video feed shows him what Beetle Cam is seeing. That allowed me to increase my hit rate and get more usable photos from it. Now for the crowning jewel. It's a fiberglass carapace with an aluminium frame which bolts on top to give the camera some protection. New tricks and a thick armoured shell, but is this cute little robot ready to face a lion? Okay, we're trying lions for the first time since our old beast cam was mauled and our camera destroyed by them. It's very nerve wracking hoping the armor works. These cats are so curious, playful. I knew I'd be able to get some really good close-up photographs if I could just lion-proof the beetle cam. As the new beetle cam flirts with danger, Will snaps one incredible photo after another. Even when one large male decides he's hungry, beetle cam still gets the shot. Fiberglass shell, one, Lions, zero. But eventually, Will does meet his match. I had these seven quite old lion cubs, and they were very boisterous. And I was getting some great shots of them, but then after about five minutes or so, things went a bit wrong, and they managed to flip it over. And from that point, they were able to pick it up by the wheel. And as soon as they'd done that, they'd, they ran off into the bush with it, all seven of them. And at that point, I thought that was the end. I didn't think we'd ever get it back. But luckily, they dropped it somewhere where we were able to get into it between the trees with the vehicle and pick it up again. And then uh, that was pretty much the end of the trip. Out here, there may be few places to hide. But for this tiny paparazzi, a little danger goes a long way. There's nothing quite as exciting as coming across, you know, those really good photos that you'd always dreamed of getting, really. For this wildlife photographer, that perfect shot has never been closer. Oh.